Oh yeah, oh yeah, level 20, level 20, I made it to level 20! Tom! What? I need you to clean up your room right now! Clean up my room right now? Wait, I just made level 20! I, I, let the magical fairies clean up the room! Magical fairies? Who do you think you are? Uh-oh, I better go. So much for making it to level 20. Guess it didn't really matter. But what I wanted to get through in that little exchange there was who do you think you are? Because that was the question that Jesus was asked by the religious rulers of his time. Who do you think you are? And Jesus responded and told them that he was the Messiah. He was the Son of God. Now, the word Messiah, that's a big name. That means that someone who will save you. When you're in trouble and you need saving, that's what that word means. Somebody who's going to come and save you, bail you out when you're in trouble, when your room's not clean. If somebody came and cleaned up your room for you like those magical fairies I was asking for, that would be a savior. They would do something for us. And Jesus was explaining to the people of his time that he was the Son of God. That he came from heaven to live in this world and he lived a life just like every one of us. And But yet he did nothing wrong. And even though he did nothing wrong and didn't sin, he was crucified, he was put on a cross, he was executed, and he was put into a grave after that. And But on the third day, he rose again. So, Jesus is alive, and his whole body, his whole soul and body were reunited with a perfect body, and those... And that all went to heaven. And that's what's recorded in the Bible for us. Now, for some people, that's just a fairy tale. It's not a true story. But for those who believe, those who've read the Bible, those who've studied the Bible, uh, I, when I studied the Bible, I found out that Jesus is still alive and that when I read his words in the Bible, I learn more and more about him, and it speaks back to me in a way. So the question was, who is Jesus? Well, Jesus is God's son who came to earth, who showed us how to live, who left us a commandment, and that commandment was love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. If I'm busy playing video games like I was in the beginning, I have to be careful because if I play that too much, I'm going to forget to love God. I'm going to forget to love others as I want others to love me. So maybe you've gotten that same question too. Who do you think you are, young woman? Who do you think you are, young man? If you've ever heard those words, you know where I'm coming from right now. And what we have to remember is that when we believe in Jesus and we do what God wants us to do, we are children of God. So let us pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you that he came to save us. And we thank you that when we put our faith in him, we know we will be saved. We thank you for Jesus. Thank you for all you've given to us. And we offer this prayer in our Lord and our Savior Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for watching. Talk to you again soon.